So I keep getting a bunch of comments saying I look like a Oompa Loompa. And you know what? Y'all ate. Hi guys, good morning. Welcome to another spend the day with me vlog. Right now it's 7 a.m. and your girl gotta go to the gym. So I, what I wanted to do was have a chatty breakfast to kind of let you guys know what I was gonna do today. But I woke up a tad bit late, so I had to eat my breakfast without filming it, which is a bummer because I like to have a little chatty breakfast. My breakfast was pretty simple. Before I go to the gym, I just like to eat something more carb-y, like a lot of carbs, just because it gives me more energy in the gym. I had a scoop of protein powder which I downed right away because I want to use the bottle afterwards to put my pre-workout in because why make more dish when less dish do trick? Why waste time? Say lot word when few word do trick. My breakfast is just a bowl of Honey O's, which is kind of like a knockoff brand of Honey Nut Cheerios from Trader Joe's. Plenty of carbs in that. I feel like it gives me a lot of energy. Then I have supplements. I drink a Yakult, which is like a prebiotic thing for your tummy tastes really good. So now I'm on my way to the gym guys and I don't know if I'm gonna bring my phone into the gym because when I'm in the gym I'm really focused on the workout also. It's fun to talk at the gym you know. Today's an upper day so probably do a lot of core. I really want to hit the bench press. I really like doing that. So yesterday I did a glute fo focused workout so I was doing hip thrusts and uh, oh my gosh hamstring curls, reverse lunges, a lot of hard lower body workout. So I'm very sore. My calves are just on fire from some Something so simple as doing calf raises. Calf, not calf like, what is that, a baby cow? I don't know, calf raises. So simple, but so humbling. Oh my gosh, my calves are on fire. This happens every week. Every time I do calf raises, I'm like, oh, it'll be fine. I finally healed. So they're not as fried and then they're fried as fuck right now. Thank God today is upper. Um, since I'm not taking you guys in the gym, you won't be able to see that after the gym. I'm get getting a tattoo. I'm getting a tattoo of my mom's name on me. It was supposed to be a Mother's Day gift, but I was in New York for Black Zane Fair during Mother's Day. So my tattoo artist kind of had to reschedule it because I forgot I was going to be out of town. So I'm going to take you guys with me to get my tattoo. I also have to go grocery shopping because I ran out of chicken. Just chicken, really. I just have to go to get chicken. <laughs> so I'll go grocery shopping. Oh, one thing I absolutely must finish today is the zine club zine for my zine club. Every month I make a brand new zine exclusively for them and it's usually very planned out and I have a blueprint ready weeks ahead of time but you know New York kind of threw me off so everything kind of got slid back and so today I want to focus on that. Let's get started. I gotta go to the gym. I'm like uh, getting the feeling of coming in the gym. Okay, I'm, oh, oh my gosh. Am I like parked too? Sorry, this is like a weird parking space and those cars were driving so close to my fucking car. I'm at the gym. I feel like I'm, I'm I wanna like give a lot of like talk before the gym since I won't be taking the camera in there. And it's funny cause my gym, the type of gym that I go to, a lot of fitness influencers go to. So they film themselves a lot, but I don't want to film myself because it's hard for me to focus on my workout if I'm thinking about my camera all the time. So now drink my pre-workout, which is basically just like an energy drink. If you're confused with pre-workout is, it just gives you more energy when you're in the gym eh. does anybody else feel like they have to take a major shit before they go to the gym i'm fine up the whole drive to the gym i'm fine walking up to the gym i'm fine and then as soon as i step foot in the building it's like burner And I don't shit at the gym because there's only, ugh, in the girls' bathroom, there's only one stall. There's a stall for the toilet and then there's a stall for the shower. Oh, I know it. I know why people are getting close to my car. There's a speed bump right here and they're going around it. Really, nigga? They're going around it and they're getting super dangerously close to my car and then they're speeding off. Fuckers. But yeah, anyway, I never take a shit at my gym because everybody would know it's me. Every time I go into this gym, I, I know everybody. I see the same people every day. It's one of those smaller gyms. So I'm not going to shit in there. This is not that good. <laughs> I'm gonna go in the gym now, it's about time. And then when I come out, I'll give you a recap of what happened. I like to set my Apple Watch. Also, y'all, y'all are mean. Okay, maybe not y'all that are watching my videos and obviously support my work, but ever since I dyed my hair green recently, I don't know what's been happening to my skin, but it looks very orangish in the camera. <laughs> I think my skin looks really great, but compared to the green in my hair, my skin does look a little bit orange. So I keep getting a bunch of comments saying I look like a Oompa Loompa. And you know what? Y'all ate. <laughs> Good fucking insult. Congrats. You nailed it. But um, also, 
hurts my feelings a little bit, okay? Because it, y'all, it's true. It's every, every, every now and then I get a hate comment that's so, that hits on something where I was like, oh, I didn't know I was insecure about that. And then I keep getting, you know how you could comment GIF or GIFs or I don't know how you pronounce it. You could comment those in the comment section now. People will le literally leave Oompa Loompas going like this, dancing, spinning around and shit. And I'm like, y'all, ooh, ooh, new insecurity unlocked. Y'all, y'all, um, you're right. <laughs> I guess I'm not that sweaty, but I am back from the gym and I'm hungry. Ah! So, okay, look at my watch. This is how I keep track of my workout. Can you see? Worked out for an hour and 54 seconds. It says I burned 418 calories. I don't know how true that is. I don't actively keep track of like the burning. I'm not like obsessive about keeping track of what I eat and calorie stuff. I do try to keep track of how much protein I have because that's what you need to grow muscles. Ew. Okay, don't look there. <laughs> but yeah, so I have to get some food. Maybe I shouldn't have filmed just yet. But anyway, I'm, I'm gonna go get a smoothie, okay? Okay, I got my meal replacement smoothie. This is called a Mr. Blueberry. And I'm not gonna lie, I don't like it that much, but this is something that I don't do all the time because it's kind of expensive. This is a $10 smoothie. But it has all the stuff that I need to get me through until the next meal. So after I get my tattoo, I think I'm gonna go grocery shop and get that chicken so I can make my meals for today. But this has 32 grams of protein. I'm like the most contradictory person ever. I'm like, it's pretty good, but I don't like it. I don't like the flavor of it, but when I say it's pretty good, I mean like it's getting my macros in. So that's important, right? And earlier I was like, I don't really pay attention to my calories and stuff. That's a lie, I do. I don't know, I just be saying stuff sometimes. I pay attention to my calories, I have to, because if I'm trying to, the goals that I have in the gym, it's very important for me to make sure that I'm eating enough calories and getting all my macros in. Mm. The reason why I don't like this is because it's just filled with peanut butter. There's a lot of peanut butter in this and I'm not a peanut butter person. Mm. Now I gotta go home, take a shower really quick, and then speed off to my tattoo appointment. So let's get up out of here. Ooh. A lot of car content right now just because um, I didn't take you guys into the gym. But if you guys would ever like to go to the gym with me, you can let me know. I probably won't do it, but you can comment it and maybe one day, maybe one day I will. I don't know. <laughs> and I would hate to post one day me at the gym and then people ask me for advice and stuff because guys, Everybody's different, you know, and I don't want to give people the wrong information about stuff, especially when it comes to fitness stuff. I'm not an expert on that, but if you're curious, you know, just let me know. Let me know if you want to see Brie at the gym. But like I said, I probably won't take you to the gym. <laughs> I probably won't. Okay, let's go. I get what you mean now about making it fun. Yeah. Like seeing the color. Yeah. Tattoo's finished. I don't know if you guys could see in the little video I took, but um, it's my mom's name. Her name is Ku'uwipo, which is Hawaiian. And the biggest part of this was making sure that the little apostrophe, it's not an apostrophe in the Hawaiian language, it's actually called an okina. And it's just, instead of being an apostrophe that goes slanted, it goes straight down. And it symbolizes a glottal stop or a glottal stop. The best way to pronounce it for this little Hawaiian lesson right now, so my mom's name is Ku'uwipo. So that little um, okina that's in there, that's not an apostrophe, it's called an okina. That little line signifies that you pause. So Ku'uwipo. So basically the pause is like, it's not even a pause. The best way I could explain it is like when you say the word uh-oh. So you hear that little pause between uh and oh, that uh-oh, that's basically the sound you wanna make when you see an okina. So like even with the word Hawaii, if you're familiar with how it's spelled out, there's an okina in between the two eyes at the end of Hawaii. The way you pronounce that uh, is Hawaii. So that little pause, Hawaii. It's actually, the, the language, it's actually pronounced Hawaii. 
and you still pause the same at that okina um yeah so the hawaiian language is tricky because originally it's just an oral language it was never meant to be written down but it was because they took our land they imprisoned our queen they banned our language they forcibly made us a colony of the united states so when I walked in, he had it spelled with an apostrophe, and I was like, oh, I forgot to mention that it has to be a straight line up and down. It completely changes the meaning of some words if you have an okina in there or not. So I wanted to make sure that it was accurate. So right now it's really bloody. I'm not going to show you guys because that's like triggering for some people. Some people don't want to see tattoos when they're like in that weird healing, like not healing because it was just done, but when it's all bloody and stuff, you know? I like to call it a soy sauce packet because that's what it looks like when all the ink and blood kind of congeals up under this little plastic thing he put on me. It looks like a soy sauce packet, so I'm not gonna show you my soy sauce packet. Now that that's done, I have to go buy some chicken. So let's go to the grocery store. So there's been a change of plans. I picked up Kalei. Yeah. Bridgerton's coming on, so we're gonna go, we're gonna uh, make a pizza and watch Bridgerton. Yeah. And you should too. Anything you wanna say to the folks? Yeah, that was my, my saying to you guys. You should go watch Bridgerton. Watch Bridgerton, not even sponsored. If, even if you've already watched it, you should watch it again. Rewatch. Season three is on now. Season three is up to no. watch. <laughs> I'm not getting paid for this. Bye. This month scene for my zine club is called Why Does a Serial Killer Have Better Health Insurance Than Me? And it's about how I found out that the American serial killer Richard Ramirez got all of his teeth fixed while he was on death row. And it made me mad because I remember back in 2022, I had to pay so much money to get a root canal and it just frustrated me. So that's what the zine is about. It's not about him. It's just about the broken American healthcare system. And I pretty much rant about it. I really like the centerfold because I put a side-by-side -side of me and Richard Ramirez like, ew, I'm sorry, trigger warning. He's so freaking ugly. He's hideous. But I was like, okay, what's Richard's crime? Uh, he's a serial killer and he's ugly, but he got free teeth. What's my crime? I cry a lot. I don't pay a parking ticket here and there. I never hold in a fart. Okay, my crime is I get no teeth. Okay, and that's it for the mini vlog. Sorry that it ends so abruptly. I was just so tired after watching all that Bridgerton and finishing the zine. <laughs> and I'll see you guys next time.